Spiral represents a back-to-basics approach to the Saw franchise. Unlike the attempt to resurrect the horror franchise with Jigsaw in 2017, Spiral doesn't wallow in nostalgia for the superficial trappings of the series. In many ways, Spiral marks a departure from previous entries in the franchise, paring the series down and stripping out a lot of the cliches associated with it. Spiral is the first Saw movie that doesn't feature Tobin Bell reprising his role as serial killer and DIY enthusiast John Kramer. Spiral also doesn't feature the iconic Billy Puppet. In marked contrast to Jigsaw, Spiral chooses not to open with Charlie Clouser's iconic Hello Zep theme, consciously delaying the triggering of the audience's nostalgia receptors. Spiral also features a more high-profile cast than earlier iterations of the franchise, including Chris Rock, Max Minghella, and Samuel L. Jackson. It is the first installment without the word Saw in the title, relegating it to the clunky subtitle from the Book of Saw. It also exists in a slightly different genre than the previous eight Saw movies, operating primarily as a forensic thriller. Spiral stars Chris Rock as Ezekiel Zeke Banks, a detective who was ostracized by his colleagues because he testified against a fellow officer. Nine years later, Zeke finds himself heading an investigation into a serial killer with a disturbingly familiar MO. This sadistic murderer appears to be targeting police officers, and has taken a particular interest in Zeke. Spiral is so back to basics that it draws more heavily from the films that inspired Saul than it does from the previous eight films in the franchise. Spiral often feels like a direct homage to many of the 90s serial killer thrillers that informed and shaped James Wan and Lee Wannell's work on the original Saw. Movies like Seven, Kiss the Girls, The Bone Collector, and many more. Spiral is such a 90s throwback that Zeke is introduced discussing Tom Hanks' performance in Forrest Gump, and it closes with a rap version of the Saw theme. Spiral is powered by familiar cop movie cliches. Within the opening 10 minutes, Zeke is being chewed out by his superior for acting as a loose cannon. He is then partnered with William Schenk, a naive young family man whose enthusiasm contrasts with Zeke's grizzled cynicism. The biggest problem with Spiral is that all of this has been done before, and much better. As with the little things from earlier this year, Spiral feels like a lackluster entry in a genre that no longer really exists. This problem is compounded by how predictable the plot is. The Soul franchise is powered by absurd twists and turns, but it's easy to figure out Spiral's big twists ahead of time. None of this is to suggest that Spiral has completely abandoned the trappings of the Saw franchise. The film allegedly owes its entire existence to Chris Rock's affection for the series. The franchise's monstrous pig imagery takes on a more loaded meaning here. Spiral also marks the return of director Darren Lynn Bowsman, who directed the second, third, and fourth entries in the franchise. There are suitably graphic death traps. Spiral also returns to some of the more interesting themes of the earlier films, such as police brutality and corruption. Long-term fans may roll their eyes when Zeke asserts that the Jigsaw Killer didn't target cops, particularly given that Bousman's previous three films in the franchise featured police officers tested and tortured by the killer. Similarly, like the fifth and sixth film, Spiral gestures broadly at the idea of systemic injustice and retribution for that. Spiral attempts to update these weighty themes for the modern day. It's a worthy approach, but the results are mixed, with the film feeling too clumsy and broad to offer any real insight. Ironically, Spiral is just too straightforward. Spiral is available in cinemas now.